Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank, and today I want to play some more Inscription Casey's mod. Let's go ahead and get us a new run started. I think that I will keep the insect deck because it seemed pretty powerful last time. And we've got to get 50 points here. Um, let's see. That's going to be a hard one. So we could do all totem battles and then get us 20. Um, and then we could do, let's say, tip scales, and it puts us at 40, and we'd only need 10 more. So, perhaps no clover, and pricey pelts, but I don't know, that's a little bit rough. I'm thinking, um, perhaps, instead we do this, and Let's see, no boss rares. Yeah, I think I want to avoid that. So we'll just we'll stick with this. It'll exceed it by a tiny bit. Um, but we could instead do pricey pelts and um, then take off this guy. Yeah. And that way we won't have quite as many totem battles. All right, let's go. Okay, let's see what trade we can get right off the bat. Hmm. Oh, a dire wolf pup. Bone digger at the end of the owner's turn, and its card brain sigil will generate one bone. Um, that'd be nice to try, I think. And. I like the opportunity to get us a great white too, so let's pick it up for fun. It's kind of early game for something that powerful, but I think it'll be nice to try. I don't know if doing a sigil swap makes sense yet, um, but likewise, going for trading in teeth this early isn't that useful either. So I think I'd rather go this path, and since I have a full bag of items as well, I think that just about everything about going to the right path didn't add up, and that's going to have a sigil swap anyways. So, what could we do? Um, not a whole lot that's interesting here. I guess we could take the skunk's ability and put it on, let's say, the great white so that it's harder to kill. Might be funny. If we get a second great white, it would be pretty powerful if we get 8 and 4 on its stats, so we'll be watching out for that. Not sure if I'm going to go for a pure insect run or what with this, but we'll see soon enough. Alright, B. What can we do about that? I guess we'll just get us a uh, flying ant down on the board. And that'll be our start. Okay, and I guess we'll just keep on with what we have here. It's going to be some back and forth for a little while, looks like. Get us our Ant Queen, and that'll put some damage on the board. There we go. That'll start making a good difference, I think. Alright. Well, we're going to go for excess damage here, so let's just go ahead and continue. Okay, excellent. Um, I think we'll just keep the squad we have here. There we go. That's enough teeth to make it worth it, I think. And we continue on. Let's go with the right card. Hey, a golden pelt. Excellent. Alright, hopefully this is a health boost. I'd love to boost up the shark a little bit. Ah, unfortunately it's not. We only have two candidates, a direwolf pup and a great white. I thought we had more cards than that. 
weird. Um, I guess let's do the pup. We'll just uh, stop with that, I suppose. Okay. to play our dire wolf pup, pup. <laughs> so I want to save up for a turn and uh, we'll play it on the next one instead and then we'll start working on our ants after that okay all right nice I think that's gonna push us over the edge pretty quickly actually. We might win in this very next turn. Got it. And if I could get bifurcated strike or something on that dire wolf that would be intense. Um, let's go this route just in case we can... Oh I should have gotten the blood route that would have been smarter. Um, but let's get a, another insect. Another ant queen. Nice. You know, they're a little bit more expensive. I do like that they have higher base defense, so that's nice. Um, well, this is a hard pick. Maybe I'll put the ant queens on the flying ant. That way it's cheaper to uh, generate a, an additional ant. Don't have a whole lot of choices at this phase, so might as well roll with it, I suppose. Okay, bullfrog and a kingfisher. I can't really take out the kingfisher, so might as well get something, I guess, started on that bullfrog. Um, the flying ant, well, it would be taken out though, unfortunately. So, I might need to get my ant queen down, actually, so that we can start uh, accumulating some power here. And I wanted to go ahead and pull a tooth as well. So I might do the item pickup in the next area here in a moment. And that'll be it for now. Okay. Um, wish I could get a hit on that beehive. I think I can. There we go. Um, that'll get us a be generated and I think that's all we can do for now. All right. Okay. Um, we should be able to put down our flying ant. That'll be enough power to uh, maybe actually win the round. So that's nine teeth. Yep. A little bit of excess, not a ton, but it still counts. Okay. We can either go get items or we can try powering something up. Um, in terms of the weight, but being able to pick a specific beast would be nice. Um, I don't know what the Great White falls under, though, so maybe we'll just go with Mystery Cards and we'll do a power up. Another Dire Wolf up. Interesting. Um, let's do it. We'll try to combine it up into a uh, mega dog here in a little bit. So if we can survive, it's uh, starting out. That would be amazing. Okay, um, I guess we'll do the same pattern here. We'll just boost it up once, and that way it'll be more viable on its own if we don't get a, a chance to combine the cards or something else as a better combination. All right, I guess I'm gonna go with the canine head because the others didn't seem to make a lot of sense for what I have going on. It's feeling like it's gonna be a combination of a um, insect and canine build. All right, time for the angler. Okay. 
thinking about just putting our flying ant down right away. That will generate us another ant, and we will be good for now. Okay. Let's uh, get us a smoke down so that he'll block his lane and also not interfere with our current car that's down. Okay. And I think it will get us an ant queen going. Oops. There we are. Very good. And that'll be it for now. Thinking about letting them enter into the next phase um, with. Uh, Let's see, entering into the next phase, yeah. We're gonna get bait buckets and frontal squirrel, but that's okay. Or a bait bucket, I should say. Um, now I could sacrifice everything and get a great wide of my own. Um, and I still have two other worker ants, so I think I'll just go ahead and do that, actually. And yeah, lo and behold, we'll have a lot of power on the board as it is. I don't think they'll be able to recover from this. And a dire wolf pup. Excellent. Not gonna matter though. <laughs> okay, another one bites the dust. Ooh, good combination here. Um I guess we'll go with the Amalgam. I just feel like it's a really well-rounded card in general. Okay. I think we only have the one Golden Pelt. Oh, an Imposter Amalgam. Um, I think that is an easy choice. We'll take it. It'd be cool if an imposter could be used, uh, combined up to uh, use with any other card. It's kind of unfortunate it doesn't have that. I don't think it's worth getting a bone token right now either. I'm pretty happy with my deck. So let's go with items instead. Ooh, perfect. Well, there we go. I think that was an excellent time to stop by. I don't know how I could lose with these items if I can make it all the way to the final boss with all three of them. Okay. Oh no. Well, that's enough <laughs> power on the board. I think I'm going to have to use uh, one of the power ups or just go ahead and lose because if they come in. Alpha is going to give them plus one, so that's going to be two, two, and one, so like five damage right off the bat. I can't, I can't take that hit. Um, I don't really have a good reason to, to win. Um, wow, that really threw me off. Uh, let's see, if I do. Squirrel and play Flying Ant. That'll get me in one place, but if I skip a turn, I could possibly win still and get some tea, so I think I'll do it. And we will just have to ring the bell. Okay. We'll get the amalgam on the board, and I think from there on we'll be okay. Okay. I can't believe that they'd stop me off with uh, such a horrible combination of things attacking me. That's uh, just about irrecoverable. I mean, this is still a strong combo, even if I had gotten rid of the um, Alpha, I still would have had to face off these other guys. Okay, I 
think the next turn we're gonna win it. Oh, very close to it. Not quite. Okay. Um, let's see what do we get here. Nank Queen. I'm gonna have to do it again. I really shouldn't have said anything about uh, my good luck earlier. <laughs> um, I guess let's just hold out for another turn. Okay. Yeah, they may have too much damage for me to recover at this point. It's not looking good. Not looking good. Alright, we can take out the elk. Um, we're so close to being able to get a great white though. I don't think this will be enough to turn things around. So, just gonna have to let that one go. We used one of our uh, hourglasses, but I'd much rather save uh, the remaining one for later. Okay have enough teeth to make a trade, I think, or at least maybe one pelt. I don't think I want to use the knife. Oh, I think I have pricey pelts turn on. That's unfortunate. We'll just go with um, these in. All right. There we go. That'll be an interesting combo until we can get us an insect head or a better sigil. Ooh, a duplication event. That sounds good. I guess we can go either way. We'll decide from there, um, depending on how this fight goes. All right, Dire Wolf, this may be your turn. Uh, let's see. Do have a raven egg that's gonna be incoming and I won't be able to really address this situation for a while so I guess we're gonna have to just do something like that darn cuckoos okay um, let's get down worker ant front of the raven egg so that we'll take it out. I think we'll be alright after that. Okay. Hmm. What about this cuckoo? I'm wondering if I should take it out, but we'll let the worker ant do at least another turn for the current setup. Okay, um, let's see, I think it, we're still on track here, so let's just keep going. Alright, and another raven, that's not good. Maybe I will have to pull a card over or something. Um, let's see. I guess the dire wolf pup could be played now. I don't have much of a good choice. I guess it, it will... Let's see. I might be able to put down the Great White and do alright with that, actually. Because that'll take out that lane. And the Dire Wolf Pup will just have to wait one more turn, I think. Alright. And I think I'm going to have to use the hook to be able to win. Um, actually the dire wolf pup can come and play and that will be enough to uh, set things right, I think. Yep. Okay. Alright, and I think that'll be, um, basically be recovering just about everything here at this turn. 
An actual win, too. Okay. Ooh, that was a tough one. All right. Duplication. I am tempted to say, let's just get a copy of that amalgam. Um, and go from there. I also like the idea of the great shark. Great shark. Great white being duplicated. Um, but having an amalgam at six and six sounds like a better idea. It's one blood less, too. And we're getting a lot of dire wolves. Um, let's take. I think we already have two of them anyways. Let's take the cuckoo with us instead. It'll give us a little bit of diversity and tactics and strategy, I think. Okay, Malcolm, it's your turn, bud. Ah, uh, it came out only two and three. So it'd be like five and six if I get them combined. It's unfortunate it's a little bit low. Ah, a moose buck. And they are really throwing them at me hard here. Um, I could block it off right away. The cuckoo, I believe. So I think I want to do that, actually. And that'll save me for a turn. Get a little bit of damage. Um, I'll have to put the wolf pelt down, I guess, in the other lane here in a minute. Okay. An amalgam, good. So, moose buck. I guess it, it's not moving since it's not in lane, so it's gonna be stuck there. Um, let's see, what else can we get? The elk fawn is gonna be a problem soon, so we'll probably need to go ahead and play the wolf pelt. Okay, and now we can get started on the amalgam and we'll have enough power here to take out the elk fawn um, and do a little bit of damage on the sparrow too. Good. Oh, a flying ant. Excellent. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay. Not positive if I like the bees on side on my um wolves thing. So what sacrifices could we make? I don't really see anything worth doing yet. Powering up doesn't seem like a big deal either right now, so I think I'm going to head this way. We'll head towards the woodcarver. Oh, a pronghorn. Now, sacrificing it to put it on the one of the dire wolf pups, I think would be awesome. Oh, hey wizard, how's it going? I saw your message. Uh, let's see, we'll go with the insect head and we'll generate more insects this way. <laughs> doing well, just uh, doing my first run through on inscription today. It's been pretty challenging. see. Alright, we got a Sarah Malcolm right off the bat. And unfortunately, we got to get rid of some of these other things. Um, a cuckoo could come in and block off that lane for us for a bit. That'd be kind of nice. Um, so let's go for it. And that'll hold back on some of the damage these others are going to do to me. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy down and we'll stop with that. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, I really would hate to lose my dire wolf pup. Hopefully I can just get something cheap like uh, an ant or something here in a moment. Okay, let's see. Meanwhile, their side of the board is just being uh, filled up. It's crazy. Okay, and a rabbit pelt. Want to hold on to our pelts too? Let's uh, let's use the hook to pull something over. Um, maybe the strange frog. So even if the elk hits it, um, that'll be okay. I'd rather have that happen than to um, have to like play one of my really nice cards and lose it, you know. Leaping Trap should take care of the elk in the next turn too, so that's really cool. Um, I don't really have anything cheap to play yet here, unfortunately. Um, I wonder if Stinky prevents Leaping Trap from killing. I don't think it does. I think it's always um, lethal, unfortunately. So, let's see, what else could we do? I think we'll just hold off for now and let's see if we can get something that can withstand some attacks. This pronghorn could be played over the cuckoo and that would be fine. It'll actually get more damage on the board. It'll move in a turn but that's okay. Um, I don't think it'll hurt anything. Okay, um, let's just go with that for now. Bye bye, Elk. Alright. Time for a dire wolf pup, I believe. Um, or the amalgam. We'll just put it down. Because we know it's going to do a great job. Oh, wait. I think I don't have enough cards. Uh, yeah, I don't have enough squirrels. So, oopsie. Let's get another guy started here. And. We will do Amalgam. Okay. That should be enough power to uh, I think take us to phase two. And it was. Good. We're able to retain our pelts too so that we can um, get some trades in. Okay. Let's see. The Amalgam will take out the Possum and the Raven, I think, pretty easily. Um, none of these are too scary. I think that having the Wolf gone makes good sense. And the Porcupine, too, since it's going to get stronger and has Quills. Um, I guess the River Snapper would be a good idea, too. So, there we have it. Um, let's see what card we can get down from the River Otter. Surely there's somebody. Um, I need some one bloods because I'm running into kind of a issue with that here lately. Let's see. I guess we'll just play that porcupine that we got earlier. That should be enough to annoy the river otter. Okay. Ah, oh, we we're so close to having it in just one turn. <laughs> we'll be able to play anything too fantastic. Um, I mean, I could get rid of the porcupine for something that damages a little bit higher, but I won't be able to get that much higher. We could do it anyways, just to, for the sake of getting the extra points, I guess. And that'll be it. That gave me a few extra teeth. Okay, excellent. Oh, Mantis God and the Douse and the Uri Ludi. Let's get Mantis God. 
if I can get the Mantis God's ability on um, my Dire Wolf pup, that would be amazing. I think that I'll try for that. Hopefully, I'll have an opportunity to do so. All right, what do you have here? We definitely need to get, I think, a one blood. So we'll get this guy since it has card counter. And beehive, it gets stronger. That's interesting. And then mantis. Um, and we have us a rattler that produces rabbits. That's funny. And let's see, a skunk that produces ants. And turkey vulture. I don't think I have any cards that take bones right now. That's an unusual hand. Um, I guess I'll take the turkey vulture just because I need something that will consume some bone. All right. Item restock. I guess let's go with this fan and we'll get a boulder. Oh man, I really don't like sharp quills. That's always a hard sigil to defend against. Okay. Um, let's do our card counter. And I guess we'll go with that for now. Oh no, not a dire wolf. Jeez. I had to put a boulder in front of it because it's going to do four damage. Um, that's tough. Okay, um, our pronghorn have a hard time against that. Um, and I may just have to lose this one. I'm not sure how we could come out of this otherwise. Pronghorn does do two damage. Let's see. So I could get these two hit and then it'll take a damage off and then move. Um, if I use the fan, that'd only get me plus two anyways. That dire wolf is gonna be basically impossible to kill, fortunately. Um, yeah, this is a bad situation. I think I'm just gonna have to play something though, and maybe I can play the Ant Queen um, here and have a chance at generating enough stuff. Um, I'll put down the boulder too. It will be able to pull back from this since I wanna get some bees for free. Okay. Perhaps this could work out. And we got a cuckoo as well, so that's not horrible. Let's um let's put down a I'm going back and forth between maybe we could have the pronghorn for a turn. Um fortunately it's gonna die if I do that, so I think I'll put down the worker ant and we'll go from there. Okay, well, this kind of went from bad to worse, it looks like. <laughs> um, let's get another card, maybe we'll get something strong here. Direwolf Pup. So, could be a Direwolf Pup versus Direwolf Pup situation. However, I don't think that'll work out in our favor, unfortunately. Um, Ponghorn can come in and do a hit on that dire wolf. Maybe I should have it hit. Well, it's going to do four damage though, so it'll, it will lose. Um, let's see, I can just keep bombarding them with bees as well. Let me think for a second. I could put a cuckoo down. Let's do that. That'll block the lane, and then I can get Dire Wolf Pup next to this guy. Well, fortunately, he's going to do enough damage on his own to be a problem. Um, 
If I did everything airborne, would that make enough of a difference? I don't think so. I think I'd have to skip a turn to have a chance at winning this, unfortunately. Um, we got one, two damage coming in, and then if I put down the pronghorn, I would get three and four. But I won't have a chance to get that dire wolf pup fully strengthened up. So that stomp is going to be a problem. So this will be plus two, and he's going to do plus four. So I can survive that, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. We'll just try it and kind of see where things go. I'm going to use the fan though, and that will get us plus four for the turn. And then the dire wolf pup will, or the dire wolf will. Um, undo that, of course. So, yeah. Now I have my own dire wolf, and I'll be able to take out the stump and do damage as well. Um, that might be enough to turn it around a bit. Ooh, and I could get the uh, pronghorn on the board for a turn. So, let's do this number here, and go from there. Good. I think that this should turn things around. As long as I block this dire wolf um, from doing damage, I think it will be okay. Alright. Oh, that's so close. Alright, let's see. The Sire Wolf will do plus six, and these two together will do um, three, so. Oh, I forgot about that extra hit, so it's nine. Yep. Ah, oh, man. I would have had to skip a turn, but I really hated to do that just to win this match, especially since I had used um, the other items up. Okay, I don't have a lot of teeth, so there's a fungus event over there. That stinks. Might be my only opportunity to uh, double something up. So I think I'll do it, even though it doesn't make maybe the most sense to do so. I could get a rabbit pelt. Something at least, right? Yeah, that was a hard fight. I, I can't believe how tough that fight was just now. Um... Some of these are brutal. Okay. I would love to get a dire wolf pup combination going uh, since amalgams are pretty strong on their own. Um, I'm going to do it. It'll be exciting. This is first rounds that I've played with one too, so I think that this will give it a good chance at getting to its full power and really dominating the fight. Hopefully I'll draw it a few times before I lose. <laughs> it's been so hard. Um, I could get one card down and I'll have card counter and that would take out the raven. So I think that I'll go for that. Actually, it'll just be two damage, but it'll still be a big enough change, I think, to make it worth it. And it'll take out the raven in two turns. Okay, uh, the Raven, that's going to be three. They're going to win already, so I'm going to have to use the Skipper here, because if I don't, I'll be in trouble. Okay. And I can use the Pronghorn to uh, get some damage going, and I suppose I need to use it. Um here but yeah they're not going to do damage to me so that's okay i think it'll work okay ah and the mantis god interesting i really may end up losing this either way it's uh just a little too much 
power coming through on the board. So I can do plus two. They're going to do plus four. And I think that means that I'm going to lose this one. Um, wow. There's this unrelenting today. Oh, I forgot about the that block. But yeah, didn't just too much. Wow, the airborne really uh, tipped me out in a big way today. Man, let's uh, let's see. All totem battles, pricey pelts, no clover, and tip scales. I think I'll give it another try. That was a rough one, but it was kind of a short one too. Only forty minutes. Um, didn't even make it to the third boss, so. We'll just uh, move as fast as we can, see how we do. Okay, I think we want to have Moose back and Kuhu. Why not? All right, time to make a sacrifice already. Um, let's see, I think I'd like to take the Ant Queen's powers and put it on something a bit weaker, like the Cuckoo. It's always a tough price to pay having two blood for the Ant Queen. It does have higher HP though, so that is nice. Maybe it's a mistake to sacrifice her. It's a hard choice to make, I think. Okay. Oh man, can you believe that luck? I got turned into a raven immediately. I may actually, well, I could lose this one. Let's see. I'm not positive. This needs two damage on me to make the difference though. I've got two damage left to work with here. I should have played the skunk. I think that would have made more sense. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Then. All right. Um, we've got a flying ant, so that'll make them stronger at least. There we go. Good. All right. Um, skunk is stinky, so that'll be enough to help a little bit, I suppose. Oh man, this is really uh, exciting stuff. Um, I don't think it'll make sense to use the moose buck yet. Okay, um, yeah, still don't see it making sense to use it because I mean, a flying ant, I mean, these guys are going to go down in power. If I play it, it'll be four anyways, so, and I lose the cuckoo. I think we'll just stick with what we have. Worker ant should be able to get rid of that raven anyways. Okay, I think that... My team will turn this around now, since there will be nothing to interrupt it. There we go. Whew. See how hard that was? Like, right off the bat. It's already terrifyingly difficult. <laughs> uh, let's see. Another moose buck. I'll do it. And a sacrifice or a fire. Um, hmm. Sigil swap, taking the cuckoo's powers and putting it on the flying ant could be awesome. Um, or using the skunks could go. Um, let's do let's do one of those two. I think. Kind of a weird start to things, but 
I think it'll be nice. Give this flying ant a chance to having stinky on it. Okay. Let's see. Help oh, fawn in the mall. Ideally, we can block that elk pond. Looks like we can. So, there we go. And another raven? My goodness. That's twice in the same match that I've had that happen. I can't believe that. That's like... Kind of crazy, honestly. Man, I may not be able to turn this around. Let's see. I think I have just enough to get one of my moose bucks on the playing field. If it weren't for that, I'd be in dire trouble. So we're going to put it here to take out the raven. Oh, no. That may have been a mistake. Yep. <laughs> I should have put it over in the off lane. Darn it. I forgot about the moose buck pushing things around. Oh well. That was that was really funny. <laughs> Gotta take time to laugh at these things when they happen. <laughs> Alright, we'll go with this one. A black goat. That's good. That'll help me get moose bucks out in the playing field. I think I'll get another one too. Let's back up. The chance is ten percent on the is that on the uh, eggs? Breaking and turning into ravens. All right, let's see. Well, that's crazy. I didn't know it was one in ten. I I had only seen it happen maybe three times ever personally, so that's higher than I would have expected. Really, very interesting. All right, I think our ant army is going to turn this around now. Good. go left. Oh, a golden pelt. Awesome. Got pretty lucky getting it last time too. Time for a pack rat. This will be a fun card to have for this run. Sometimes they're really nice to have in your arsenal. Alright, I guess the wood carver makes sense to go. Well, that's interesting. I, I didn't know the campfire would cancel the chance out for that. That's cool. I chose worthy sacrifice just now for the sigil in hopes that that'll help me get moose bucks onto the field. So, we'll see how it goes. Alright. How are we going to take you out today? Let's see. Stinky flying ant. Sounds perfect for this mission, and Cuckoo would have been a good choice too, but I think that this might be better. Might have to use one of our power-ups um, to get rid of some of these guys though. Could drag one of them over, um, or I could get the Cuckoo to take out this other Leaping Trap. Let's see. Cuckoo's only gonna last one turn though against the strange frogs. And they have enough to derail me, so I think I am gonna have to pull one over. Okay.
Alright, let's see. We'll just keep what we have here going on. It should be time to switch sides soon enough. I think he would probably send something out after me, but at this um, early of a phase, I'm guessing it won't do it. Oh, there it is, a pack rat. Or a, uh, a bullfrog sent after me. Okay, I guess I could let the cuckoo go to uh, get something out against that leaping trap. There we go. gives me another pelt to use for trading here in a little bit too. Alright, do we have enough to get our moose buck out? I don't think so. I wish we could rearrange the cards by pressing a key. That would be really nice. Um, I could get a worker ant though. Going against our rabbit over here. That'll be easy prey. cards. Nice. This may be the first time I've had a leaping trap go into phase two. So this will be an interesting setup. Um, I can, let's see, I think getting this card counting um, guy here will be important to do. And how many more do we have? I think we have two more pelts. Um, maybe our stinky frog and our mole that's going to get powers would be good. And our next set, let's see, flying ant is going to take out both of those. Leaping trap will take out that and leaving the sparrow. And the worker ant should take out that guy too. So let's put down our card counter and we may actually get this in one run because it's so high. Yep, looks like we should. Okay, there we go. Got a weird hand, but I think it's doing okay so far. Ah, oh, no Roboros Imposter, um, Mantis God, and Yurei Yuli. Wow, if I could get the Mantis God's power on a Moose Buck, we'd be set. Um, but the Ouroboros Imposter is pretty sweet, too. I guess we'll go with Mantis God. Ah, we have an opportunity to duplicate, make duplicates here. Um, we do have a golden pelt that we'll need to offload at some point. Maybe we'll do it towards the end, though. can make a duplicate duplication, and I see a fungi up there. Um, so we could have a pretty powerful mantis god, for instance. Or get us a unbelievably strong moose buck situation going on. Hmm. Well, this is hard. I guess I'll go with the cave event and duplication. Four of power, two of a can, and five bone. We won't be passing the bone. Um, two of a can doesn't sound super good either, so leaves us with four power. I think we have a, sh a chance at that. Just a little shot, so let's try it. Alright, I really just barely got it. <laughs> I was hoping to get a moose buck, because that was what we needed. Alright, Dam Builder and Bakunity. And we also have an Elk Fawn that's stinky and hefty. Um, and Bakunity, and let's see wild bull with airborne. That's an interesting combo. Leaning mostly towards this elk fawn that 
runs around because it's going to run around anyways but the rat king it's helping us generate bones um might be pretty sweet if we can uh get something that uses a lot of bones perhaps hmm I guess I'm going to go with the elk pond though since it's in the pronghorn family and it's looking more and more like we're going to have a pronghorn build here so let's just uh, check out our duplicate options here. I think maybe duplicating the elk fawn since it's cheap makes a lot of sense and we can, or since it's weak and it's cheap. We can then maybe combine them up and have a really strong ultimate elk. Um, and we'll go from there. That one had zero attack power too, so that's not cool. Um, let's see, another woodcarver and I have a fungus event, so we're going to go this route. I do need to complete my uh, totem though. still only have, I think, one and a half, so... It's not ideal for good attack. Mantis God could get deployed and take on the Skink. Um, however, our Elk Fawn could go out first and prevent the Skink's attack to begin with. Or the Flying Ant, you know, the both of them. So let's do that. Oh, it moves two spaces because of having both of those sigils. Can you believe that? That's hilarious. I should have thought about that part of it. Um, Alright, Mantis God. Time for you to do some hits here. Nice. <laughs> Seeing that elk move around twice just cracks me up. Alright. I think we'll... Well, this other elk fawn is... Not got any attack power to start, but it can stay here. And since it's stinky, it should be okay. Nice. <laughs> okay. Now it's just a matter of waiting for some damage to be done. It's so funny watching them running around as much as they do. Okay. Am I going over here or am I going over there? Man, hopefully I'll win this match on these days. These keep sending all kinds of stuff at me. It's time for the moose buck to come out, I suppose. Uh, let's put them over here next to the ant. And we'll get them off the board. Another moose bug. Sweet. Still don't have enough to win. <laughs> Alright, we'll get us another moose buck on the board. There we go. <laughs> Gotta love the excess damage. We'll take bones since we don't have any. Make cockroach. Nice. So we could have this nice powered up elk fawn that will be able to survive or we could have a really strong moose buck um, with 6 and 14. I mean, that'd be nigh unstoppable unless there's like an adder or something used against it. I think I'll do this since it costs so much blood. I'd rather make it worth the price and the elk fawns are only one blood each. So I think this is our best bang for the buck. I mean, we get so much more HP and lowers the cost of everything overall. Alright, Mighty Leap Sigil. Um, 
I guess I could use the cuckoo to block our flying ant, or I could get our elk fawn on the board right away to uh, start some havoc. And it'll get in front of the skink and block its attack instead. Here we go. And on its next attack, the skink should make a tail and run over there and block the mud turtle. So that'll be good. I can block off this other flying ant with the cuckoo. And that'll generate me a worker ant that I can use. Okay. And I guess it's time to uh, play our worker ant somewhere. Um, we'll go ahead and play it right here, actually. Lower the chances of those ants taking over and getting too much power on the board. Ah, can you believe that? They just uh, keep on coming at me. So, I guess let's use our black goat and we will get some damage on the board by getting our moose buck into the play. And there we are. It's just enough to make an impact. Ah, uh, another elk fawn. I guess we can replace our cuckoo now. There we go. Don't think I'm going to have too many teeth, but let's see what we have. Yeah, just four. Um, so I guess we'll... Oh, I actually had eight. Oops. Should have counted a little bit better as discounting what was outside of the bowl, so... My bad. Okay. What can we do here? I think that the cockroach being put on Mantis God would be fantastic. So we could have it come back over and over. Um, so don't have any bone cards once again, but that's okay. Interesting that it added the little halo to the mantis god. Um, I wonder if it does that if you get any sigil on it, perhaps. Okay. I'm going to start with our elk fawn over there, and it'll go two spaces over, and that'll be that. Oh, an adder. Darn it. The elk fawn's gonna... Okay, I was gonna say it's gonna land in its spot, but thankfully that bullfrog moved to block it. Good. That's what we need. However, the elk is going to defeat it, so... Yep. Yep. Wow. Bad luck there. Um, hopefully I still have both my candles. Can't quite tell until I draw, I guess. Alright, Nelk Fawn. Uh, let's see. This one has no attack power to start. Oof. I mean, I could pull a tooth, but they're going to get four damage on me. So this one is stinky could knock off one point and it'd be three. However, it's just not enough to survive. Do you have a rabbit pelt though? But they're still gonna get me, I think. Um let's see. Yeah, unfortunately I think that the alpha is ultimately well, I can pull my tooth and That'll get me just a little bit of wiggle room, and I don't think it'll be enough to turn it around, but we'll just see what happens. Okay. Let's draw from here in case it's something powerful. Flying it. That is not powerful. <laughs> um, yeah. Looks like it. this is going to be a loss, but we'll just see what happens. Oh yeah. 
I can't believe what a challenge this has been today. Just, I really don't know what it's going to be like to try to get the rest of these challenge points. It's tough. Okay. Um, I don't think fungi event makes a lot of sense. Um, getting the sigil swap on something else. However, that could be kind of powerful. And I do need to go to the woodcarver, so I guess we'll go this way. Maybe I can get us a bone card. Or not. Um, another three blood, maybe a two blood would be best. Hey, a dire wolf pup. Cool. Alright. Let's see. I could see putting a dire wolf pup on a pack rat, perhaps. Just to give its powers to something else. And the pack rat onto something else, too. Um... I guess the goat would make the goat a really good utility. Okay. That'll be my utility card. Alright. We got Burrower, and let's see, we have multiple pronghorns here already. So, what about birds? We only have the cuckoo. Um,. I guess let's do that so we have you know another card that can help us generate um, enough to get our moose buck on the board and we'll go from there I might try to get another three blood maybe I'll get offered a great light from this level Ooh, and I don't have any autumn so this is gonna be fun Okay. And he's already making plans to uh, come after me, so we'll put down our um, rabbit pelt over here. So he'll pull it, and I should have put it over there actually. We'll save up for our direwolf pup. Okay. And now it's time for our dire wolf pup. Here we go. Alright, he's going to pull another card, so let's put a squirrel down over here. And that'll get rid of that kingfisher that's in our lane, too. Good. Okay, let's see. Guess we need to play another card because he is about to pull away our elk and we can't have that happen. Oh. I should have been paying attention to the damage. Oh well. Let's see. Ooh, we could get us a cuckoo down. Um, however, that might be worth saving. I'm afraid that the bait bucket... I might actually be able to play it over a bait bucket and not hurt anything. Dire Wolf... Um, well, even it can't survive the... Uh, the um great white shark so what can we do huh i feel like sacrificing um well let's see dire wolf will attack it again and kill it actually i think because it'll turn if I can get rid of the elk, well actually the elk will take it down and be able to survive it too. So I think playing our cuckoo is our move here. Um, and I shouldn't have done this, but let's just try it out. 
not having the best run as it is, so... Okay, the Cuckoo didn't damage the bait bucket, so that's okay. It worked out better than I thought it was going to. Alright, Moose Buck is ready to play. Not sure if it's going to matter, though. We're going to do a lot of damage. Good. I think it's slowly coming together. The team is starting to make more and more sense, it feels like. All right, child 13, pack rat, and an amoeba. We'll do it since it is a bone consumer. Okay, I don't think we have, but maybe the one pelt. Oh yeah, we got those rabbit pelts too, okay. Uh, let's see. What do we want to do here? Boy, having an unkillable sigil for something else sounds nice. Um, or a dire wolf that's already fully grown. That'd be nice too. It's three blood though. We do have that sigil. It can help us out, I think so. Um, hmm. Well, let's see. This is a hard choice. I guess I'm going to go with the cockroach, dire wolf, pronghorn. And for this one, let's see, we've got a golden pelt, a rare opportunity here to pick out something nice. Um, Let's get another Mantis God. And let's get items for sure because we need them. Oh no, these aren't all that great. Still not the best. Okay. Kind of a weak set of items, but we'll uh, use what we got, I suppose. Because we had no other choice. <laughs> all right. Let's use a cuckoo to block off our wolf friend over here. And we got another raven egg. Um, I just can't believe it. So it kind of puts me in a concern that we're about to have an emergency here. So we'll play our pronghorn. Um, well, we don't have enough to play it actually. So <laughs> let's, uh, well, you know, the cuckoo is going to be there. Um, let's just play our worker ant and we'll go from there. Now I have an angry wolf coming in. Oh, geez. Geez, geez, geez. Um, hmm. It's a stinky wolf, too. I may just have to use a blockade on it. Um, we can do another flying ant and that'll be plus five damage for the turn. So I think we'll just have to roll with it. Man, they are rushing me hard today. Um, let's do this and we can play boulder from the wolf and I think putting the pronghorn down may make sense here um, and if we made this airborne that'd be plus three but we kind of need to take out that wolf so let's do it Okay. Oh good, black goat. Um, that could help us generate an item. The pronghorn will hit that one. The flying ant is preventing it from doing damage. And we can take out the wolf. We're going to lose the porcupine on the next turn. Or, I mean on this turn. So 
think it's just going to have to happen that way. And we let in a new wolf, so I don't know what I was thinking about having a rush to keep going with that. Um, an amoeba. Okay. I guess if it's shove, it's not going to be very effective. I mean, it could get a hit on the wolf, um, but we'll use it on the porcupine to do a little bit of a blocker there. And if I do this, um, we won't get but one HP on the board. I think that this is the end of it for me, actually. I don't think we'll be able to recover on this. Oof. Yeah, not looking like we're going to have another run here. I'm thinking of these challenge points are just really getting uh, the best of me. So, fungus event. We could combine up elk fawns. Um, we could go make a duplicate, something else, like another moose buck, perhaps. Or a power-up event. So these are all tough. Treating the teeth, though, doesn't sound like a great idea. So let's see. i kind of love to get the um, Mantis Gods combined. An unkillable one with two and two sounds nice, so we'll do it. Cause it's effectively six damage um, per turn if it survives, so it's not bad. Okay. Here we go. Plus it's unkillable, so it may have a chance at boosting its health further if it dies. Alright, let's draw that Mantis God. Need it in my hand pretty bad. Alright, Black Goat and a Dire Wolf. Um, let's just get our Moose Buck out here and uh, take over the world, I suppose. I think it'll be quite literally just the one turn. <laughs> okay. Guess that's how you do it. <laughs> um, I'd like to go for something that consumes bone, so let's go mid lane. Here we go. Coyote. And I think I used up one of my items, so we're just going to get one back. Let's go with the boulder. I do like the defense ones. They can really help out. Okay, interesting start. Cody and a raven that's going to leave a tail behind. Um, I think that we should block things off with our cuckoo first. And um, thankfully the egg did not remain behind. So I don't think we have enough to play the amoeba yet because we don't have a bone token. So we're just going to have to keep going like this, I think so hard starting with one in the hole on this too. I keep forgetting that that's uh, happening to me, but it makes an impact. Oh, I should have played my amoeba. Darn it. That was a little bit of a miscalculation there, I think. Oh, moose buck. Time to bring it in. Um, we can have it just stay right here and... We'll get our amoeba started as well, and that'll be enough, I think, to just about win this. Very close, at least. I don't think that they're going to be able to um, make a return on me, so... Oh, I should have used an amoeba in the other lane, but, well, it's going to break its egg anyways. Let's put down our flying ant, and there we go. I 
nice cards with tails really uh, are a strong defense against some of my attacks. It's crazy how much help they could be for the enemy. Still doing pretty well too against me. It's kind of impressive. Um, could get that dire pup down. Just take out our um, porcupine over here. Might as well. Ah, uh, it's gonna die. <laughs> that was a little silly of me, I guess. Oh well. Didn't need it. Oh yeah, yeah, I'd love to have a uh, second active chatter. It'd be really cool to have some good conversation going around. I've had maybe one or two when I was playing, I think it may have been Metal Gear Solid. I can't remember if it was that or another game, but I do remember it happening at least a time or two. Okay, should we do a sacrifice, go get an item, or do a power up? something kind of feeling getting that cockroaches power on something else might be a good idea so we'll do that oh a bat it's not super handy but we'll take it okay cockroach we need your power we're gonna put you on Let's see. Thinking our dire wolf pup. There we go. Okay. How many canons do we have now? We have. Let's see. One, two, three. Um thinking that might be better for the worthy sacrifice then one of them is a dire wolf so how many birds do we have this is one having three of those what about longhorns I don't think it matters also the ability of getting an item for birds sounds good I think we'll go with this though I think this gives us a couple more opportunities to get um, our high cost ones, so. If we can get that moose buck on the field, that's the uh, big one that we're looking for, so. Okay. Here comes our hard mode one. Um, can't play these two really right now, it doesn't make sense, so. We could put down our rabbit pelt and block the wolf's opening attack though. Okay. And we have a dire wolf. So we can uh, take out our wolf. Oopsie. Um, I should have used one of my items too. That was a little bit of a misplay there. But that's okay. And yeah. I think that's it for now. Get us to phase two pretty quickly, I think. Okay. Let's see. I guess we'll do this. And that guy has just enough power to take out our wolf cub. So that's excellent. Dire Wolf should be able to take out the mole as well. So I could put down a bat, but then I'm going to have a full lane of destroyed cards. Um, so I don't have enough bone anyways. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and go forward with this. It's going to happen one way or the other. So we just need, I think, one more damage left on the pack mule. I think we can play just about anything uh, to that effect. Let's just do our Cody and uh, go from there. 
good. Okay, let's see. Our elk fawn should be able to take on the adder. It'll be a nice, powerful card to get into play, too. There we go. And could have our cockroach. We don't have enough um, to start with. Our amoeba could take hit on the um, bloodhound, though. Oh, it's airborne. Should have been paying more attention. Oopsie. Now it's an elder bloodhound. Great. <laughs> Um, at least we have a little time to prepare for things, so. Um, what could we do? We could sacrifice our Cody for this angry beaver guy. Let's try from here, though, and see what we get. Pronghorn. Um, that might be worth making a sacrifice so we can get rid of that wolf cub from a distance before it gets too strong. And... That leaves us with... That's about it. Okay. Perfect. Okay, I think it, that may have been... Was that our third boss? I'm not sure if it was our second or third. Alright, an amoeba or a strange larva. I think it will do it. I just want to see the appeal of the douse. I'd have to um, really consider that one. All right, final boss time. Um, I think our sigil situation is not likely to get that much better. We only have the one pelt that could be traded. No more items to get. Um, what about our sigil swap? Can we? Use somebody's power elsewhere. Hmm. Maybe the pronghorn's bifurcated attack. <laughs> I like that little uh, emoticons there. Those are pretty cute. <laughs> okay. Let's see. How about take that? And we'll put it on our moose buck. So if we get the moose buck, it'll be able to do 12 damage in a turn now. Okay. Here we go. Thank you. It's going to be a hard fight. Always difficult. Especially if they're using a uh, third candle, like a cheap shot. <laughs> okay. What are we going to do here? An amalgam and a mole man. So if we could get a strike here in this, I'll get the mole man moved over. Um, we got lucky and our moose buck is on the board or in our hand to start with. So that's fantastic. Um, I think getting an elk fawn started may make the most sense here. And it could actually start here. Um, and it'll move over and be stinky. But we don't want that per se. Um, I think getting the smoke down to start makes the most sense here. Okay. Here comes the prospector to uh, mess with this. So, what can we do about that? Um, not a whole lot, it turns out. Um, could perhaps make a boulder or something, but it's going to hit us really hard, unfortunately. Mm. We'll do that. And the elk is going to strike, and it's going to move in front of the amalgam, and it'll absorb with the amalgam's hit, and it'll die with the mantis's hit, I think. So we may be okay with that situation. 
Nope. All right. That's not good. We may have just lost. I think maybe we did. Yep. I I totally forgot the elk was going to go in opposite directions like that. That was my one misstep. Oh, man. What a tough one. That was only like two turns in, too. <laughs> okay. Well, that's all right, though. That was... That was a tough night. I think that with all those challenges that I had activated, um, I'm really going to have to think about how to um, achieve these. I might do something like no boss rares, all totem battles, and boss totems next time. Because um, tip scales just puts you at such a disadvantage. It's really hard. And then all these, um, keeping all these would be nice i might be able to win with something like that okay well thanks for watching it's been s tier rank you can follow me on twitch and twitter at s tier rank and i'll have a replay of today's stream up on youtube soon thanks have a good day